Now, law number six of a spiritual law of success. We are now on the law of detachment. Now, I want to read you guys the definition, the meaning of the law of detachment, and then we're going to debunk and, and break, break this down. So, the law of detachment is a deductive reasoning based in logic stating that if the relative the, the related given statements are true and the correct logic is applied, then the conclusion will also be true. Now, the, the key component of this, okay, is putting all of your intention on what you can control and what you can do today to get closer to your desire. That's why the fifth one was the law of intention and desire. Because once you once you curate that in your heart and you put that fire, you, li you light that fire in your heart with your intention, desire, fire, okay? Then letting it go, detaching from that fire is air evaporating into the atmosphere, okay? So being able to hold so many of us hold on to ideas and concepts that don't serve us. That becomes a disease. Let's take information, for instance. When information becomes toxic, it's time to step away. When information starts to give you a headache, it changes how you eat, it changes the way that you treat your family, your spouse, it gets you fired from your job, and sometimes that should be a good thing. That could be a good thing, right? I'm saying, but you know what I mean. It 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 transforms your moods drastically. Okay, and it decreases your moods. It doesn't put you in a more abundant, higher consciousness. Now everything is about levels, right? Chapters. So the things that don't serve us and cause us more disease. We hold on to. But detaching from fear, detaching from worry, stress, disbelief, dis distrust, you know, people who are untrustworthy, having these scenarios, circumstances, and people around your life, you can't control them. You can't control their mind, but what you can control is the energy that you possess that somebody thought they can play with you and they can trick you into getting on their ship. Because a major part of all of this is to not kill the part of you that is cringe but kill the part of you that cringes. Because why do you cringe? You're cringing at things that you secretly enjoy. So you are self-sabotaging your life. You are sabotaging your own life. Let's say I love Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I love tech decks. Y'all remember tech decks, right? And I see somebody in the street who is playing Pokemon Go and who has silly bands in it, it's old shit, right? And tech decks. And they're outside, you know, with the phones and with trying to find the Pokemon, catch them all, you know. I'm laughing, criticizing, and condemning them the whole time. I, I, I'm at the crib playing with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and my tech decks on a, on a race mat. So control what you can control. Simple as that. Control what you can control. Anything else that is not benefiting you, get it out. Get it out. Yes, it is, it is viable for us to put ourselves in situations that make us uncomfortable. That is not our particular field of choice. Just to get that, that expanded horizon so we know what's different between black and white. Was there between the neighborhood versus the hood? You know what I mean? Same word, but same spectrum. Yin, yin and yang, black, white, light, dark, 
you got to get to the darkness from light or you get from you get to be able to transform into the light from darkness same thing you could be in the hood and tell yourself i never want to be in the hood ever again i never want to live here shout out to all my niggas i don't want to live in the hood no more so you move to a neighborhood same word same connotation well not same connotation but same word different definition different meanings right so You have to control what you can control. And in holding your precious concept, your precious idea near and dear to you, you're curating a new life. You are being the master of your own reality. But you can't hold like a kid. You cannot hold on and be over, over, extra over protective to your kid. Because the slightest chance they get to talk to somebody on the street, another adult, and they get 18, graduate high school, and they want to go to college, not for the right reasons, not to be a lawyer, not to be a nurse, <laughs> to party, to get away from mom. Because she, she wouldn't let me live. She only saw me in a certain light. So I got to run away. And that separation from kids and parents it's, it's a generational curse. So, at a certain point in time, you have to let go and do some living. Simple as that. You have to let go and do some living. As they say, let go and let God, yeah. Let go and let go some more. Because <laughs> when you think you let go, you still have it in the, the, the conscious but unconscious, subconscious part of your brain. It's still there. It has to be fully in a subconscious where it is habitual. I am manifesting right now, making this video. I am moving in the law of attraction and magnetism and, you know, repulsion, things that don't serve me. I, I am repelling the things that I am not even in alliance with. Better yet, they don't even be able to come in my neighborhood, <laughs> you know, neighborhood, I mean your, your energy bubble, right? Your aura, your presence. So you have to learn. It's a skill. Yes. All of these laws, they're skills being able to let go of other people's judgments, because as you know, other people's judgments are going to be a anchor on your wings. Then you can't fly. You can't fly high as you think you can because you think, but it's not your thoughts. It's the, de it's the negative, it's the demon, it's the demonic thoughts that linger in your brain to cause you to be like, damn, I can't do it. What if I get injured? What if I get in a wreck? Well, what if the plane does this? And what if we get delayed? And what if I don't meet my true love? And what if I don't be able to accomplish this? That's from their line of thinking that you've inherited. So the law of detachment, law six, it's a pleasure. And I will see y'all on the last law.